the frequencies that will be used for 5G have been the subject of a number of studies, so we can make a few considerations about that. For example, in the past, several analyses have been conducted on biological effects and health risks of millimeter waves on the occasion of the introduction into international airports of body scanners to check passengers with waves at frequencies very similar to those of 5G. And similar studies have been performed to analyze their use in applications such as the radar technology and in medicine. So the overall conclusion of these studies is that this type of exposure does not constitute a risk for the exposed people. The available data suggest that there are no particular problems for the health of the population connected with the introduction of 5G. 5G uh, will travel uh, on higher frequencies than 2, 3 uh, and 4G and this is one of the elements that frightens people. But the antenna network in reality will use signals with lower power and the exposure levels uh, will be comparable or even lower than those deriving from previous technologies. To destroy uh, this technology is really uh, no sense. This is a technology that is very important for human health because for the, it will allow, for example, to improve the medical treatment, to improve connection between uh, physicians studies studying in the world. Uh, it's a, a technology that will really help uh, our society and each of us. So what I, I want to tell you is that it is important to distinguish between between the real science and uh, you know what is not based on experiments, what is not based on data, but it's just gut feeling. And there is a lot of rubbish today about uh, 5G technology and all this, the good experiments, all the serious experiments with controls, with the uh, proper method, the scientific method, they indicate that there is really no concern about the use of 5G in, in, uh, for human health. So please stop doing that and help science, help technology, help the improvement of society.